perfectionism is often everything has to go right. There is no room. There is no no room for mistakes. Um, I have to do everything right. And the big thing with perfectionism is when something doesn't go right, which is bound to happen, right? Because we're human. Um, it's the self-blame and the self, the way perfectionists beat themselves up for not being perfect. Because in the same way as people pleasers, the validation that has come from being the person that's always strong, being the person that can always be relied on, being the person that always gets it right. They're less likely to ask for help. They're less likely to ask other people um, for support or even know how to receive support. Um, And they're also more likely to tell other people how they should be doing things. And so people are like, I don't even want to help you because you're a lot. (laughs) Um, (laughs) when you're trying to help. And so they're like, I keep telling you that you'd say you want to help me. I'm telling you what I need. And, you know, they don't even understand the way that it may be coming off sometimes. And I think that, um, for recovering perfectionists and when it comes to, to, to boundaries, it's one for sure, learning how to control what they say yes to first and foremost, like, do I actually have the space and time for this? Then the second part is, can I actually handle this all by myself or do I need help? And if I need help, am I willing to allow that help in the way that they are willing to come in and support me? Not by like being the manager, leader, dictator over what everyone is doing and saying. And for all of these people, for all of us who, no matter whether you're recovering perfectionist, people pleaser, whether you're in a place of codependency, whatever it is that you're dealing with, learning to have compassion for yourself is the ultimate thing that we're all working on. We're all in this space of participating in these cycles that we've learned through whether whether it's been through childhood, adult friendships, romantic relationships, where we're playing out these projections and we're playing out these roles because we want to be loved, seen and respected and safe. And the way to being in relationships where we are loved, seen, respected, and safe is through communicating what we need and having healthy relationships, healthy boundaries, not through these cycles, but we're unlearning all of those behaviors and trying to put on, we're putting in these new tools and new way of being that, again, I say this all the time, but like takes a lot of time. Um, I always say I'm a work in progress because although I'm way far along from where I was, I don't know what's coming. I don't know, you know, I'm raising children. There's all kinds of different things that will impact the way that I deal um, with the things that come my way in life. And having that capacity to acknowledge our humanness is such a big part of the work. 